My first impression was that this is a game changer for the sport. Yeah, I never imagined the tour compensation work like that. It's perfect. Every paramotor has torque. Uh, you, you can't get rid of it, this is physics. Simply the rotating prop makes the whole paramotor with the pilot turn to the other side and uh, this makes the glider turn as well. Every unit has some way of dealing with torque. Uh, some of them will uh, put the engine off center of the cage, uh, or one of the most popular ones is what's called torque offsets, where the glider is actually rigged slightly off one inch, so you're always weight shifting one inch. Um, while that was probably the best one before uh, dynamic torque compensation, it still wasn't quite as intuitive. And the reason why is because at idle, you're always weight shifting one inch, so you're always turning left just a little bit. Uh, at full throttle, you're always turning right just a little bit because of the torque of the engine, and you always had to weight shift a little bit to deal with it. And then in that sweet spot, it kind of cruised RPM. It was pretty good, you know. dynamic torque compensation that we use at Scouts, this is really different. We use uh, these beautiful carbon spars that are shaped in an airfoil shape and act like a windmill. The more power you apply, the, the stronger the torque gets, but as well, the propeller generates a lot more airflow, so the compensating force of the spars on the, on the carb on the scout is stronger, so the compensation increases as well. The reason it's called dynamic torque compensation is because it actually does give a different level of compensation given how much throttle you're giving. Basically what it does is it opens up a much wider sweet spot in the throttle range where at most throttle settings, you just have to use a little bit of weight shift and maybe a little bit of brake. Full power climb out, you know there's that fleeting moment where it kind of torques for a second and you weight shift kind of hard, but as soon as it settles into that RPM and that climb, you could just sit there and steer. You can take your hands off the brakes if you want to, though it's not, you know, really recommended. Torque compensation. Um, it really works well, especially in the uh, cruise and climbing portions of flight. So if you're just skimming the water, it really does push straight. And also when climbing, as long as you're not on full bore, you hardly feel the torque at all. Previous units that I've flown, you have to weight shift extremely one side, left or right to compensate for that torque on, on full climb out. And what I noticed and what was pretty magical was you didn't have to do that on this. When I took off, I swung my leg over to compensate for the torque and it actually put me into a turn um, against the torque of the engine, which was pretty impressive. First time I actually got to fly one, Shane from Team Fly Halo let me fly his and I flew it with my acro glider and as soon as my feet left the ground I was blown away. Um, it's just on any other paramotor I'd flown before the torque was um, hard to deal with on an acro glider because they're so small and take a lot of power to stay in the air. I felt like I was always fighting that torque and on the scout that just wasn't there. Normally you're used to doing um, a tight maneuver, right turn or left turn, depending on the, the way your engine turns, um, with the torque of the engine. You increase power, go with that torque, lean, pull that brake, and really able to carve turns, um, but only in one direction. And it, it's really fun to be able to have the capability to do that uh, in both directions under power and have uh, the ability to turn with equal aggressiveness both directions.
Now I was coming off of a left hand torquing, very big torquey heavy engine. And I had learned all my kind of advanced maneuvers to the left, big asymmetric spirals, power loops, and ground spirals, especially to the left. And I knew that I was switching back to a right hand torquing unit. And I just thought, well, I'm gonna just have to learn those things the other way. I was able to do it, you know, just as well with this right torquing machine while turning left, doing these big full power ground spirals and getting really close, you know. So, I mean, it's really next level. Paella. Paella. Like paella. paella is good for... Maybe it's good for you, but I don't like paella. No, but you never tried the good one.